already done all my foundation and concealing and my eyebrows and stuff like that because I figured it would cut out a lot of time for this tutorial and I already did it on my last video and I'll probably end up doing a like foundation routine vi video um, so what I'm gonna do oops, so what I'm gonna do is um, bronze my face I'm gonna use Benefits Hula as always um, and I'm not gonna really go for like a super contoured look I just wanna do like an all over glow type thing if you wanna do contoured you can um, it really, I guess, just depends on your face shape, and some people contour every day, and I hardly ever contour. So, um, I'm just going to put a little bit on my brush, and then just put it in places where you normally would contour, and then I kind of just, like, buff it all out. And then I just kind of do it across my forehead. I pretty much get my whole face, and then I go down my neck. Sorry if I'm looking like behind the camera. My mirror is behind the camera. So, because my camera doesn't have a flip screen, so I can't like see what I'm doing. Um, so, I'm kind of like watching myself in the camera in the mirror. After that, I'm going to use um, a blush. I'm actually going to use a blush that I haven't used in a while. Um, I'm using it from the Sigma Paris palette. If you open it up, it is the peach color right in the middle. I'm just going to use the Sigma angled brush that came with it. Um, and I'm going to have to use the mirror in here. And like I said before, I smile, but I go above my apple, so that way when you um, stop smiling, it doesn't, like, run all the way down your face. And by it, I mean the blush. Okay, next up is the eyes. Um, I use, for the, completely for the eyes, I use this, um... Stila red carpet palette, but I don't really know. I don't think you can get this anymore. So, um, I'm gonna try and give you guys some dupes. And I have like both of my naked palettes open here. Um, for the overall the eye, I'm gonna use Stila Kitten. Um, I'm sure a lot of people have that color, so if you have it and you want to use it, great. If not, um, there's a lot of different colors you can use. I'll, I'll swatch them for you. Here's Stila Kitten. So that's Stila Kitten. And then these golds I want to show you are like different, they're different shades of golds and stuff like that, but they're all colors that you could use. If I wasn't using this color, one of my other favorite colors to use for an overall eye color is Sidecar from the Naked palette, the original Naked palette. And it looks like that. It's more of a brown color, um, but I still love it all over the eyes, especially if you have green eyes. And if you don't have the original Naked palette, it's in the Naked 2 palette as well, and it, um, YDK is the same color so you can see it right there and then when you swatch YDK it's the same color <laughs> um, or you could use anything like you could use half baked um, if you want like a really really golden color um, you could use suspect from the Naked 2 palette you could even use the amber rush the L'Oreal infallible amber rush that I've been using this is a little more orangey but if you like the color then you can use it really just use any like golden shimmery color so I'm just going to take an eyeshadow brush and put it into Stila Kitten, tap it off a little bit, and put it on just all over my eye. Um, don't go all the way up to the eyebrow bone because that's too much. That's it for eyeshadow that I'm going to use like as for the main color. I'm not going to do like any contouring into my eyes or anything. I just want it to be really, really, really simple. Okay, next up I'm using Blanc Type by MAP. Um, by MAC. <laughs> you can use any like matte white that you want or any kind of highlight color that you want. It's really up to you. Um, I just use it, like I said in my last video, I use it up here kind of to blend the colors. So then I'm going to go in with Hula Benefit. Swirl my brush in. I'm going to use a mirror because I don't have that one. And just put that in the crease just to warm up the face a little bit. So I don't know if you can see you can kind of see the difference with this here and not over here. And you just blend it out. So for um, the eyeliner, I'm not actually using an eyeliner. I'm just going to use a shadow because like I said, the eyes are going to be like really simple. This is a really simple look. So what I'm going to do is go back into the Stila um, palette and use this top color up here. It's called Red Carpet. If you can't find that, you can use any kind of like how, like a plummy, ready color. It's kind of hard to explain. I really haven't found that many dupes. You could use Toasted if you want. I love, love, love that color. 
Um, that's in the Naked One palette. And a pretty much exact dupe of this color is um, Steel a Smudge Stick. And this is in Umber, I think. Yeah, it's in Umber. It just looks like that. I love these things. You can use them as eyeliner. You can use them as a shadow. They smudge out. Um, and then as soon as they dry, they are set in place. And I love this thing. So I'm just going to take this brush. It's like a kind of like a pointed pencil. It's almost like a pencil brush, but it's not quite a pencil brush. Um, and just put it in the red carpet. And then, actually I'm going to try and do this without a mirror. Just run along your upper lash line. I don't really go all the way over. I just go a little bit over and then just run your finger over it real quick to smudge it over. That's pretty much it for the eyes. Um, and then you just curl your lashes with my e.l.f. $1 curler. This is very hard to do without a mirror. I'm pretty much doing the mirrorless challenge. Anyways, like I was saying, I'm using the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Stain and this, and I was saying that this is really pigmented, um, but because it's a lip gloss, it's kind of hard to get exactly where you want, and then when you rub your lip together, like, that, it kind of like moves and yeah, so it's really pigmented, it's awesome to put over stuff, but you want to make sure that you have a color underneath too. So I'm just going to put on the Just Bitten Stain. Okay, so that's on, you can see it's pretty purpley as it is, um, but then just to add some shine and some deeper color, I go over it with the Bordeaux from Revlon. So you can see that is the whole look done. It's